family grip. He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body's rejuvenation. To return once more, mark my words! That wouldn't be a total shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. Its source flows not through technology, but through their undead blood. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations, you ask? With the help of techno-necromancers from Alpha Centauri. It was their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil spawn. Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secrets. They gonna find you! Let them! The seed has been sown! The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invader's clutches! I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? You do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. If you turn a blind eye to their existence, City bastards still haven't sent anyone to fix it. Today. Watch your language. Did you see who you're talking to? And I saw twice it was not unusual. So the way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What have I missed this time? Enlighten me. Brain Dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. You think Judy's lying? Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Take the blow-up doll, remodel the hole, and a 
But that's cheating. That's infidelity. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? You realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core, into paying an arm and a leg for a ripper dock. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning a biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Two matches. Interesting. Is that normal or... Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be, Angel or Sky? Looking for an Evelyn Parker. She work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Huh. I'm sorry, did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu, let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. So who will it be? Angel? Meaning? Or Sky? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Rather go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. You won't find any use for weapons inside. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay.
guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Not bad, but it would be much better real. I can't get in! What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you! Here! Now! You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This gonk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership is... Say what now? Both. Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Oh, no shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute, I need to piss first. Huh. I'm in, in what capacity? <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know where it. What will you have? Anything. Whatever stands to fuck me up the quickest. Hard day? More like hard hey. life. This place always this dead. Thought I heard a tumbleweed roll by. Dead for you. Lively for others. For me? Just right. What can I get you? Start the conversation. What a cycle, not motor. A washing machine has a motor. Can we? Why every time do they restart the conversation where we left off? That's not remembering. Hi, I'm 
the sky. And you must be... Valerie? V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Well, looks like this will be interesting. So, V. You're dying. Oh, I see. Of course I'm in Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. I think you know me well, okay? Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. Had a true friend once. Now he's gone. Soon I'll be gone too. So I won't have anyone by my side. Everything you need, you already carry inside you. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. But then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in dreamland. I just want the world to know I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Death is death is death. You're gone. Game over. You can't know that for certain. Even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it. And it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since. Or for what's to come. What's past is past. I'm over it. Oh, I see. Of course You're I'm in here. denial. Don't you see? Would it change things even by a hair if I wasn't? So what now? Now, you find out what it is you need to do. Which is? You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have. You go through Night City, knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you needed to go. And it won't stop you now. Afterlife. going on goddamn thing threw me out need to talk to you talk oh, you yeah. pulled the emergency brake ripped me out just to talk what happened oh, I do something wrong yeah. really? Evelyn Parker what do you know about her not much everyone's got their own booths their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you, Vargin, violate it, try to rearrange. No. I need this info. Name your price. 
Fuck you. Your Eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. First, tell me what you know about Evelyn. Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Oh, I see. Of course I'm in the capacity. Shit yeah. like that happens yeah. around here way more often than anybody'd care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turned out to be useful after all. Better keep this short and sweet. Two. Hi! Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... Yeah, I'm good. I don't have your details? <laughs> Sorry, no idea what I'm what supposed to do. A washing machine has a motor Need to get there. in touch with Evelyn really? Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Osaka or Oslo? Which was it? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Where can I find this woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Woodman? Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's oh, kinda like our caretaker. In, in Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Yeah, I have that bike. I know. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. So why every time do they restart the conversation? Doesn't matter. It's safe to the doll chips that store their personas. Hold on. Reel back a sec. You talk to them like talk talk? Hold on. Reel back a sec. You talk to them uh. like talk talk? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Of course I'm in. In, in what capacity? <laughs> yeah, I have that bike. I know where to... Mm-hmm. Hey. Left her purse. Could have had more than one. All her shit's in it, though. Must have left in a hurry. Clients allowed in here. Well, dear, close the door on the way out, would ya? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. Oh, I see. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah. You could do better. Try Roxy over a booth, too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho bitch who's never been ghosted by her bill or bow before. But go on. I'm listening. You've got info, I've got eddies. It's a fair trade. What's your price? You need to pull your head out of your ass. Eddies will buy you whores here, not snitches. I look like either of those to you. Told you what you looked like. Don't tell me you weren't listening. Surely a reasonable man like yourself wouldn't mistake a donation for a bribe. Real pleasure chatting. But just where exactly do you see this going? Look, we can settle this without anyone getting hurt. Why make this any harder than it needs to be? You should ask yourself that. Listen carefully. One way or another, I'm gonna find her. And when I do, all kinds of shit is gonna happen. Shit you don't wanna end up on the wrong side of. Assume you believe your side to be the right one. Take a wild guess. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. Hey. Girl you're looking for, Parker? Jane here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. Oh, I see. Of course not. 
dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their jobs to generate profit. Evelyn, stop pulling profit. No denying that, sadly for her. The chip was busted up pretty damn good. By who? A client? No, outside job. Some kind of crack shot net runner. Punched through our ice like it was cheap wallpaper. Girl was a vegetable. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. They common? These kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Behavioural chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. This you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, said he knew something or other. You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn? Please. <laughs> you got me. Ripper's the one who paid me. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know, considering where I work. Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes. Even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> the Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. And don't come back here. Nice. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. The quicker you're out of here, the better. Dark fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co ed's wet dream. Pleasant day to you. The next time you have that urge for clouds, don't wait.